summer. <laughs> guys welcome back to the sixth episode of this competition prep series um, we're currently halfway we're eight weeks out from body power um, so we're eight weeks down already the first half the first eight weeks um, have been easy so the easy half is done and the real tough half is uh, coming up um, I can't wait to see how far I can push my body in these next eight weeks and push my mind um, and see what I can bring to, bring to the stage. Um, as you've seen from the intro, that is a lot more food than I'd normally be in on a contest prep and that is because uh, me and my coach feel that we're flattening out again. Um, so we've uh, decided to do a thousand gram carb refeed weekend. Um, so today and tomorrow, 500 grams of carbs on each day. Um, I'm not going to film the whole process because obviously the last episode was a refeed day as well. Um, so I might just quickly show you the effects of how my body reacts to it, where, whether it um, spills over by having that extra 500 carbs two days in a row. Um, personally, I think my body's just going to motor for it. Um, so hopefully, because we've just been losing a little bit too much weight, I'm weighing around about 81.3 or 4 kg this morning, so it is quite a big drop since the start of prep already. So we want to start slowing things down now, as we're a lot more susceptible to uh, losing muscle, so we need to slow this weight loss down. Um, I'm feeling very, very lean, um, so I will pop in a bit of a physique update where I can, maybe after the refeed once my body's filled up, so you can see what I'm looking like um, at the halfway point. So. Um, exciting things ahead. I'm really motivated right now um, to really smash this second half of the prep. This is where I've got to push my foot on the pedal now and really take it up a gear um, to really drive my body into that um, stage lean condition um, and do things that other people aren't, aren't wanting to do. So um, I'm just going to eat this meal up now and then go for my first um, workout of the weekend. I won't film that as it's um, one you've only seen recently. It was my back and chest workout. So um, like I said, I'll give you the update of how this Reefy goes, and um, then we'll fast forward a week on um, and see where we are then. Come back to me. So guys, another update. I have finally chosen uh, my board shorts for the competition. Um, I've been looking about for ages and I couldn't decide, so I ended up putting a poll on my Instagram uh, out of my final two to decide from, um, which was either the orange pair or this blue pair, and you guys decided for the blue. Um, I was swaying towards the blue at the start because I think um, it will show up a lot better with a tan. Um, so that is the final pair. It isn't really gonna focus there. Um, in the blue, um, so I've been quickly measured my waist. It's coming up 32 on the dot. Um, I don't think I'm going to lose another inch. Um, really, I'd rather play it safe and get 32 inch um, waist, and then I can tighten it if I need to. So I'm going to order these ones. So as soon as they turn up, um, I'll show you what they look like. Should turn up right about now. So guys, the shorts have arrived. So let's open them up and see what they look like. So as you can see guys, they look absolutely insane. The quality of them are ridiculous. I'm so, so happy with how they've turned out. Um, I got them from Quicksilver. I am glad I went with the blue. Um, so now these have turned up, I can do all my posing, all my check-ins in the shorts. Um, so when it comes around the show day, it's just gonna feel second nature stepping out on that stage in the shorts. Uh, nothing's gonna feel foreign. Um, so I'm going to keep practicing those, fingers crossed they fit. Um, I'll be sure to show you guys them on um, after I do a bit of posing post-workout at some point. Um, I've got a few other orders coming this week. I've got a new pre-workout coming and a pump product. Um, so I'll be sure to show you guys what else I'm getting. 
All right, guys, so the next delivery has turned up. Um, it's from Insight Sups, um, so it's gonna be my pre-workout and pump product, so I'll open that one up in a second and show you. I get all my supplements from Insight Sups. It's a UK um, brand, and they import in all the best quality American products because most of the UK um, supplements are pretty shit, to be honest, so they get all the best supplements in um, from America. So I ordered my pre-workout on here. It is meant to be the best pre-workout um, you can buy on the market. Um, so I've got a pre-workout and it's come just in time for leg day. So I'll open this and open this one up. Okay, so pre-workout of choice is MV Pre. Um, I've heard very, very good things about this. Um, I really enjoyed my pre-workout. I just had Mega Pre, but this is probably top of the game, best pre-workout you can get. Um, so I've got Freedom Pop flavor. I fancy apple, they had apple on there, but um, was out of stock. So Freedom Pop's meant to be the best flavor by a mile. I don't even know what that is. It looks like some sort of ice lolly or some shit, but I'll let you know what that tastes like. I'll do a full taste review, um, performance review, uh, after I've gone and done my leg day. So it's turned out perfectly, so I'll just do a heap scoop to start off with, see how I get on, uh, and I'll let you guys know what it's like. So I'll just film a few of my top sets on legs um, and give you a bit of a review. Also, we have got in there samples. I put two samples for um, just for a step on stage. I'm going to need some sort of pump product. So um, I got the Hydraulic Scorpion Blood uh, Axelin Strength pump product. So that would be perfect. I'll be taking that one on just before I go on stage, and that will help pump me right up. Um, for the stage, so that's ideal on that one. And then they also chuck in other little bits and pieces. You can try out other products as well. So I'll put their link in the description. Insight Subs, they're a great company, um, really great customer service and quality, quality products. Not like my protein anymore. You really want to try and stay away from all their proteins and pre-workouts as they are mostly full of shit and not great. So high quality. So I'll let you know how I get on with this one. Um, it's time for legs. Okay, so I've just opened this one up and look at the fucking salt. Shit. Look at the size of that scoop. It's huge. So that is a good sign of a pre -work good pre-workout because you know it's got a lot of ingredients in there. Um, and I'll just spill half it everywhere. So I'm just gonna quickly mix that one up now and quickly give it a quick taste test before we head off to the gym. Fucking hell. That is fucking lush, but it's quite sherbet-y I'd say. Can't really make out what it tastes like, but that is a very, very nice tasting pre-workout. So hopefully that was a good effect. So let's head to the gym now um, and hit a huge leg session. I've got like 300 kg to hit on the hack squat. I've got some big things to hit. 180 kg hit thrust, so it's gonna be tough. So hopefully this will carry me through. So let's get to the gym.
<coughs> okay, so leg workout done. Um, some of the numbers were improved on, um, which is great considering I'm only just coming up to six and a half weeks out now. My knees are battered from all the cardio, um, working full time, being on my feet, and then doing legs God knows how many times a week. My knees are starting to take a back, but it's all good. Um, numbers were improved on. That means I'm still keeping strength, um, which is great. Um, MV Pre. Hands down, the best pre-workout I've ever taken. Um, and it's not over-exaggerating. I've tried some quality pre-workouts like Total War. Um, just finished Mega Pre. Um, and the difference is with this one, it's a qu it's the perfect amount of energy. It isn't too much. You're not tingling, buzzing. Um, it's so consistent. Never crashes at one point. Um, and bearing in mind, that was a roundabout coming up to a two-hour session. So stay consistent the whole way through. Um, and the main thing I notice about this pre-workout is the focus. It's literally tunnel vision. You don't want to speak to anyone as soon as you're in there. Um, you're completely zoned out. Um, all focus is on the weights. Literally, like nothing else matters. So that pre-workout is quality highly recommend flavor i wouldn't say the flavor is unreal it's quite sherby it's not really my kind of pre-workout i quite like the fruity ones so i'm not a massive fan of the flavor still nice don't get me wrong but you don't take a pre-workout for its flavor end of the day you take it for its performance effects and that is the best pre-workout i've ever taken luckily i didn't take two scoops because <laughs> that would have absolutely sent me over the edge especially on legs i did feel quite sick after some of those top sets but yeah, all good. So guys, that's going to wrap up the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. So make sure you give it a like if you did. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you're new around here so you don't miss any episodes of this competition prep series. We've got lots more episodes to come up in the next six and a half weeks leading right up to show day. So I'd really appreciate you showing your support. Uh, so make sure you comment down below what other video I'd like to see. And I'll see you in the next one.